this video we are going to deploy flutter app to the cell so first thing we create new repository so we call it the cell call it flutter the cell yes let's create that repository and then after that let's copy this Head, head over to your terminal. The first thing is start by creating the project on the vessel by clicking. So we're not going to do this at the moment. So what we want to do right now is create a flat app. So I'm using here my flat app version manager. So if I list, I have several of them, but I'm going to use the version 3.10.0. All right, so let's clear that first. Okay, so now let's create Flutter app. So okay, Flutter version manager, Flutter create, just call it the cell test. Uh, yeah, let's create that. Then we push it to git. Let's move into the directory. We git init, git init, git add. Git add git commit with the message test. Uh, then we paste the code we got from GitHub. So the code is now on GitHub. We are done there. So we select let's say, let's create a new project in the vessel. So let's log in to the cell first. So this is the project we just created right now. So if we move to the cell, uh, we create a new project here. Uh, it seems we don't have much, but let's adjust permission to my GitHub account. Let's configure. Let's add. So this how did we call it? The cell test. Flutter of the cell, this one here. So let's save that. So it's had, it has been added. This one. So let's import it. I think the next is to import. Let's import it. Ensure, ensure you've selected other. And then uh, under build, next command here is override build so under build under build here we override these builds so the first one is we build with flutter web for subsequent builds and then for this one the build directory and uh, of course this is the command that we'll be using for building right so we add that then let's click deploy so as it deploys as it deploys let's see what it's doing so right now it's cloning flutter right now it is cloning filiate let's give it some time I won't fast forward this video so that you see everything. So it's doing the thing, downloading the Flutter version. It's doing the thing. Um, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Sorry for the noise, if you can hear it. So, it downloaded the Linux tool. It downloaded Flutter 3.1, that one. Uh, in, the, in the machine that we chose from, in the, in the cloud, doesn't have many things. So, it's on connected devices one. I don't know where it got it, anyway. 
so we have the network resource from those ones so we appear to be running as a root so we strongly use that is super use okay fine it is it does enable web downloading web sdk just gotten those dependency it's compiling it's building it's deploying so if we go to the dash so it's done if we go to the dashboard if we go to the dashboard of course we're not going to see any preview at the moment but if you visit this we are supposed to see the app that we've just deployed and it's flat a demo you can blah 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 so that's simple that's how simple you can deploy your app to the same so see you guys in another video